You're now tuned in to Old Head TV. Put some pressure on that like and that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn those notifications on. Hey yo, what's good YouTube world? It's Old Head TV again, and I'm back in the building, back in the builder, and I am here with another banger for my 2K family. Now, today I have a very good point guard build, a very fun build, 102 badge count that I came across playing around in the builder, and this one is a banger. It's high on everything and it's lacking nothing in each category, as far as being a point guard is concerned. So, without further delay let's get into the build now before we get started please make sure your units of measurement is in the metric system because this is a glitch build and in order to glitch the build your units of measurement has to be in the metric system now for your position we're going to go with point guard shooting hand right left doesn't matter jersey number doesn't matter i did pick number 10 because this is a glitch tim hardaway build now for your body settings, we're gonna go with 1.77 meters on the height. For the weight, we're gonna go 66 kilograms. Wingspan, we're gonna go to minimum 1.75 meters. Body shape doesn't matter. Now let's get into the attributes. Now we're gonna max out all the attributes so you can't put any more on them. Shooting 99, 3.99, fill everything up. Pause. All right, put this last one on stamina. Now, takeovers do not matter. You already know that. All right, says we have built the offensive threat. Shades of Mark Price, Kyle Lowry, etc. Now we're gonna edit the build. We're gonna go back to the features. We're gonna go to the settings. Now you're gonna put the units of measurement to Imperial system. Now we're gonna go back to the build that we just created. Your rebirth, you're gonna put yes. All right, your vitals, you're gonna leave those the same. Now, your body settings, your height, you're gonna to go to six foot one. Your wingspan, you're gonna to go to six foot seven. All right, now, pay attention carefully. Now, on your weight, you're gonna go to 168, and then you're gonna stop. And then your body shape, you're gonna change it to compact. Now, you're gonna go back to your weight, and then put it to 178. For some reason, uh, the, the body shape that's on here, slight, it doesn't, it only lets me go to 175, but when I go to like 168 and then I change the body shape to compact, then it allows me to go to 178. So make sure you do that. And your wingspan, you're gonna put that to six foot seven. Now, the reason why I put the weight to 178 is because now it makes the perimeter defense go to an over 94. Now you're gonna have Hall of Fame clamps. So that's why that part of the build is important. Now let's get into the attributes. All right, now for your close shot, you're gonna put that to a 70. Your driving layup, you're gonna put that to a 90. Your driving dunk, you're gonna put that to a 71. And that right there should have you at 22 finishing badge points. And as you can see, we have all the vital badges we need to be a consistent finisher around the rim. Gold Acrobat, Fearless Finish on Gold, Giant Slay on Gold. We got Slithery on Gold, Hall of Fame Teardropper. What more could you need? Now, let's get into the shooting. Now, for your shooting, your mid-range shot, you're going to put that at a 75. Your three-point shot, you're going to put that at an 88. And that right there should have you at 25 shooting badge points. And as you can see in those 25 shooting badge points, we have all the shooting badges that we need for this prime Tim Hardaway glitch build. We got gold catch and shoot, gold chef, gold circus threes, gold dead eye, gold blinders, gold stop and pop, hall of fame corner specialist, and we got more. What more could you possibly need? Now, let's go on to the playmaking. Now, we all know Prime Tim Hardaway was an elite playmaker, so why make a glitch build that's not elite with the playmaking? Now, for your pass accuracy, you're gonna put that at a 90. Your ball handle, you're gonna put that at an 89. And your speed with ball, you're gonna put that 
at a 92. And that right there should have you at 33 playmaking badge points. And as you can see, we have all those vital badges for your dribbling, you know, your stop and go, Hall of Fame tight handles. We got quick chain, ankle breaker, space creator, but, and you see, you got Hall of Fame quick first step. But more importantly, you have a lot of badges to help your teammates out. You got gold bullet passer. You got gold dimer. You got gold floor general. You got gold post playmaker. You got gold needle threader. You got gold special delivery. You got gold bailout. Hall of Fame break starter. So yo, when you if you decide to make this build, don't make this build about just you dribbling, getting saucy or whatever. Make this about, you know, helping your teammates out. Because you got all the badges to make your team better. So if you got all the badges to make your team better, why not make your team better? Now let's get into the defense. Now for your perimeter defense, you're gonna put that to a 94. Your steal, you're gonna put that at a 95. And your block, you're gonna put that to a 61. And that right there should have you at 23 defensive badge points. Now I'ma just say this real quick, yo. A lot of y'all point guards need to get y'all mind right, yo. Stop making bills with a 70, 76 perimeter defense. You're not doing nothing. You're not playing any type of defense. As you see right here when it says C's perimeter defense, determines the ability for the player to defend the perimeter both on and off the ball as well as contest shots from outside. This right here helps you get those contests. A 94 perimeter on a point guard, that's elite. That's elite right there. You got Hall of Fame clamps, you got Hall of Fame defensive leader, you got Hall of Fame ankle braces. With the with the with the 95 still, we got we got Hall of Fame Interceptor, Hall of Fame off ball pest, we got gold menace, tireless defender, gold pickpocket. Why would you go out there and make a bill with a 70 to 76 perimeter defense? And then you're gonna put a 99 on your still, and you're gonna be out there all day spamming X. Come on, man, use your brain. Now, let's get into the physicals. Now, for your speed, you're gonna put that to a 90. Your acceleration, you're gonna put that to a 88. Your vertical, you're gonna put that to a 70. And your stamina, you're gonna put that to a 95. And do remember, if you do your weekly workouts, you get a plus four to your physicals. But if you play the 40 to 41 my career games, I like to play 41 just to be on the safe side, and you win the NBA Finals Championship, you will get a permanent plus four to your physicals. So be sure to do that. Those weekly workouts are a dub. I hope they take them out the game. It's very unnecessary. Now, let's get into these takeovers. Now, as you can see, we have slash take, we got spotter precision, we got play take, and we got lock take. Now, the finishing on this build is pretty good, the shooting is good. We got enough playmaking to the point where we don't need play take, and we got enough defense to the point where we don't need lock take. So, you know, off top, this is a Tim Hardaway build. He's a very good inside out type of player. So, I'm gonna go with easy blow buys and advanced gathers. Now, I'm gonna hit the finish button so we can see that final product. And there you have it, two-way inside-out playmaker, shades of Tim Hardaway, John Wall, Fred Van Vliet. Now, we're gonna test the build, get this badge set up going so I can get y'all out of here. All right, now, for your finishing, we have 22 badge points to work with. So, we could do something like Silver Acrobat, Gold Giant Slayer, Bronze Unstrippable, Bronze Grace Under Pressure, Bronze Posterizer, Gold Slithery, uh, we could go Silver Fearless Finisher, Bronze Limitless Takeoff, and we could go Gold Teardropper. Or, um, you know, well, we could take one bat. Okay, we could take that bronze off of Unstrippable. And we could take Posterizer. And we could we could just put those two badges on Fearless Finisher. So we have Gold Fearless Finisher. All right, now, for the shooting. Now, this is just a template. This is just a blueprint. It's not because we don't have all our badge points, you know, from the rebirth and everything. So... Um, I would definitely go Bronze Blinders, Silver Dead Eye, Silver Stop and Pop. We could go Silver Catch and Shoot, go Hot Zone Hunter, Silver Mismatch Expert, 
We could do Silver Chef, Gold Corner Specialist, uh, Silver Limitless Spot Up, and Silver Rhythm Shooter. Now, if if I'm you and I have those extra badges to put into my shooting, I would definitely at least go Silver Blinders, maybe Gold Dead Eye. I would definitely slap something maybe like Bronze or Silver on Lucky Seven. Stop and Pop, your three ball is pretty high, so I would keep that at Silver. Catch and shoot, like I said, your three ball is pretty high, so you could keep that at silver. But you know, if you want to be OP, you could put that on gold. Um, hot zone hunter, you leave that mismatch expert. I would definitely put that on gold. Slippery off balls, a slept on badge, you could put that on bronze. I hear a lot of people say you don't need sniper, but if you feel like you need sniper, I would definitely put that on gold or hall of fame. Rhythm shooter. I use it on silver, it works. Uh, limitless spot up, your three ball is very high, so you could definitely um, keep this on silver. Corner specialist, if you want to be OP, put it on Hall of Fame. Chef badge, I can't really say too much about that badge because I don't use it, but I would think silver would be good, but if you want gold, you could do that. Now, let's get on to the playmaking. For the playmaking, we could do Silver Ankle Breaker, Gold Bullet Passer, Silver Hyperdrive, Silver Quick Chain. Uh, we could do Silver Dimer. We could do Gold Quick First Step. Uh, we could do. We could do Silver Stop and Go. Silver Unpluckable. Uh, we could go. Gold handles for days, silver space creator, gold tight handles. But if I was you, um, I'm not too much of a dribbler like that, but I would definitely have my unpluckable on gold, stop and go on gold. Um, I hear there's really no difference between gold and Hall of Fame quick first step, so that's on you guys, but I would definitely go gold. Um, you're gonna have a high stamina, so you won't really need to have handles for days on silver, but I would definitely put that, um, I'm sorry, you won't need to have it on gold, but I would definitely put that on silver. Um, I would definitely utilize bailout on bronze, very good badge on bronze, um, break start on bronze. You know, you really don't need your badges too high on this type of build, cause this is more so like a playmaker. But you know, you can do whatever you want. Now, to the defense, um, we could do silver ankle braces, Hall of Fame clamps, or we could do gold. But me, I would do Hall of Fame. Um, got gold interceptor, uh, bronze off ball pass. We could do silver ball stripper. Matter of fact, we'll do bronze ball stripper and we'll do silver off ball pass. We could do Bronze Intimidator, Bronze Tireless Defender, Silver Pick Dodger. We could do Bronze Hustler, Silver Menace, and we could do Silver Pickpocket. All right, y'all, that's it for me, Old Head TV. Be sure to put some pressure on that like, that subscribe button, drop a comment, let me know what builds you would like to see on the channel, and I'll get to it. Until next time, peace.